let's talk about Discam first. So and of course, this is a recently listed South African mm -hmm. company. Um, it is a pharmacy retail group which mm -hmm. sells among other things, <laughs> sunglasses, branded sunglasses. Paul was so rude earlier, he was asking me whether my glasses from Discam had fallen apart. <laughs> Market cap, 21.4 billion rand, price to earnings ratio, 32.9, mm -hmm. and uh, the dividend yield here? I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure whether it's paid mm -hmm. a dividend yet. And its recent trading update is complicated because it's got mm -hmm. more shares in issue and so on and so forth. But the listing has mm -hmm. gone well, Gary. I mean, it's sort of bounced around a bit, but it looks good. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if uh, the market would say the listing went well. There was a huge scandal they around the listing the retail, because they yeah. stiffed the retail market completely. Yeah. And, and, and really, institutional investors, I think, got a, a fantastic price. But the yeah, the man on the street, which I think is the Discam com customer that would have loved to go and buy Discam shares, d didn't really get the opportunity until the day of listing. But I mean, we saw a, a pop there. The share price has been fairly resilient. Um, obviously, this one, uh, you know, obviously the Zaltzman family list listing, you know, a, a large portion of the assets, but also taking a significant dividend just beforehand, so taking a, a lot of cash out of the company. Um, but certainly, I mean, it's it seems like an exciting company just if you look at its growth prospects. Did I mean, you get into Discam? No, we, we don't own Discam. We, we thought it a little bit uh, too pricey at this stage. We've got one client who bought a few, but obviously mm -hmm. after listing because there was nothing available. But uh, yeah, the Salzman family still remains very much at the helm, Ivan Salzman, uh, and mm -hmm. um, his son is involved in the business, so that's an interesting little wrinkle. But sales mm -hmm. growth steady at between sort of 15 and 20 percent earnings for the future period look like they're going to come in there. Lots of store growth. You know, they opened like eight stores in November all around the country. When exactly was the listing? It was in uh, April, no, March, February, so like three months ago. Three oh months no, look, ago. there it is from December. Yeah, what from am I talking about? <laughs> that D on the left there means December. <laughs> Yeah. It's no. the dark glasses, you can't Sorry, see my, properly. My vision was temporarily interrupted. There. Impaired. <laughs> you were visually impaired for the start of the show. <laughs> right, so are we going hot or not on this game? Is there a future here? I think there's definitely a future. I think, and if they manage to get their their growth plans right, and I mean they they're talking about doubling their store footprint uh, over the next you know five to eight years, I think you know investors will get the payoff. It, it is very expensive at the moment. Paul mentioned obviously that uh, you know the, the numbers are a little bit skewed at the moment uh, just because of the, the the issuing of new shares that, that they've done on the listing, which is you know the latest trading statement. You, you know we saw earnings dipping off quite significantly, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a good business model and I mean it's got about a 20% market share. Clicks, clicks is sort of the other player that you want to compare it to and uh, you know And if you make that comparison? I think Clicks is a better business to be honest. Mm. Um, do you? But, but both, of, both of them are I think both of them are exciting. Why? Uh, Why do you think it's a better business? Um, well, it's you know, like for, for a couple of reasons. So it's uh, one, it's got a, a more established track record on the JSE. So it's, it's uh, I suppose, been in the public sphere a lot longer. Um, you, you know, with an aggressive rollout plan that you have on, on, on Discam, there's also a, a lot of uh, room to, to, to falter. I mean, Discam only has, I think, a, about 101 stores. Click's got about 500 stores at okay, the moment. Well there we go. Ahead. You've also, mm. you've also mm. got yeah, just uh, the Discam. The every every Discam has a pharmaceutical outlet, whereas uh, Click's only, I think, about 80 percent had pharmaceutical outlets so they could still expand their pharmaceutical uh, avenue as well so th there's a couple of things um, but mainly I think it comes down to valuation as well so it is mm. it is quite pricey. Did you get hold of Discam? No I don't know any. Look uh, mm. Discam is a great business and I think they merchandise the stores work better for me I think you can get a better range of product and they feel like they're Including taking branded their sunglasses. customers more seriously but the share is expensive and I'm a little bit worried about the strong family control. Hot, but I'm not gonna go hot. hot anyway. You're going hot? No. You're not hot. <laughs> You're not hot on this game. Not, not Gary? A, no, I'm not hot on but this game. But you are no. hot, Paul. Mm.